angle. Yeah. So, Saragossa 20, 100 pound Tasline. I think that's 45 kilo Tiagra. I'm not sure. Any strong mono will do. This isn't any fish anywhere. Uh, six and bait. It's a 14 foot rod. I use this when I need to reach out over things. Um, an eight or a nine footer that's real stiff will do you much better in the long run. And I've got 10 meters of that 45 kilo mono. Or you can use a 100 pound leader or whatever you want. All the way through to the rig. So coming down the main line is a stopper knot. Now all you do is use the same bit of mono and tie, tension the line and then tie a uni knot around it. A balloon bobbin with an elastic band ready for a balloon. A torpedo float which I can use if I don't need the balloon for whatever drift I'm doing. That works as well. So the way this works is this stops this which stops this. But that is adjustable so that will slide up and down as I need to slide it up and down. So I can have this up to up to 11, 12 meters deep depending on how deep what I'm fishing off is. That's just a busted tackle balloon bobbin. Um, any any sliding clip will do. I like those ones. Uh, some people use cotton. I see no reason not to use an elastic band. Don't tie your balloon around it. Tie the knot of the balloon and just have this sitting through. So when if this is your knot, when a fish grabs your line and sucks it under, it's just going to pull through instead of having to break the elastic band. Uh, torpedo float lets your ivy swim and lets you watch what it's doing under the float. So if your float ends up just sitting next to your balloon like this for a long period of time, your live bait's probably died. Uh, if it's bobbing up and down, that's great. If it's going one direction, you can always see what it's doing. Uh, that's a Shogun 330 pound swivel. Double uni, uh, uni knot, uni knot. 250 pound uh, fluorocarbon coated nylon. What brand is this? Nomad. Moimoi? Nomad. Nomad. Um, I've got about two meters of that down to a 7.0 or an 8.0 mustard live bait hook. Um, this lets you adjust the depth however you want using your sliding knot um, and your balloon won't get tangled around your swivel which happens quite often doesn't it Cam? Quite, too much, quite often, way too much. <laughs> um, the terminal tackle is really just a matter of choice but the way the rig works is superb in terms of uh, flexibility because I can just take that elastic band off and just fish with the float, which we do quite often. If this was a squid rig, the main line would tie directly to a squid strip rig. The main line would tie directly to the swivel. The float would be on here, and then you put two sinkers above a double snelled hook, so you'd have another one about there, um, which is how you'd end up fishing squid strips. But live squid, use exactly this rig, and just use an extra snelled hook on here. Uh, so you can adjust the depth and don't cast them, because they will instantly die. Yakkers are really, really hardy and will last a lot longer. Slimies tend to drift and swim much more um, in a straight line. If you keep the tension on the line as it's swimming, it will always swim away from the tension. Um, and that'll let you sort of direct it which way you want it to go. And cut.